Welcome to Extravagant Generosity, where we reflect on how the practice of generosity impacts our communities, touches our hearts, and works for a more just world. My name is Andrew Warner, Generosity Outreach Officer for the National Setting of the United Church of Christ. As we begin to think about stewardship in the local congregation, I want to introduce a question that you can use in evaluating your fundraising efforts. Ask yourself, do we teach and thank as often as we pass the plate? This question arose for me in reading a recent study by the Lake Institute, the School of Philanthropy at Indiana University. Now, I'm not a researcher or a sociologist, but I am data curious. And the National Study on Congregations Economic Practices sparked my curiosity because it was this massive study of congregations of all different sizes and all different faith communities all across America. And what they looked at was the ways in which congregations are raising, using, and managing money. And I think this study, if you look at it, might spark your curiosity too, because you can see how your congregation compares to a wide swath of churches and faith communities across our country. One particular practice stood out in the research as correlated with increased revenue, teaching about generosity year round. Indeed, the study authors found that among those congregations teaching about giving every week, 90% of them saw an increase in revenue. And among those churches and faith communities teaching about generosity once a month, 73% of them saw an increase in revenue. And yet many congregations in the United Church of Christ often pass the offering plate, but never explain why someone should make a gift. Test out the website in your congregation does the Donate Now tab include any insights on why to give? More importantly, when did you last hear a leader in your congregation teach about money and wealth? The study underscores the importance of teaching about generosity as a spiritual practice. When does your congregation teach about generosity? Do you speak about generosity outside of those times when you ask for a donation? While the financial impact of a gift may be clear, how do you name the spiritual impact of making a gift? What sacred stories shape your understanding of generosity? When I think about the spirituality of generosity, four elements stand out to me. Generosity seeks our deepest hopes, holds our enduring values, takes faithful risks, and expresses our heartfelt gratitude. Over the next four videos, the national leaders of the United Church of Christ will share their own understanding of these elements of generosity. These conversations can inspire your own thinking and teaching about the spirituality of generosity. Beyond teaching about generosity, I find most churches struggle with ways to thank people for their contributions. Typically, United Church of Christ congregations take an offering every week and then send a tax deduction letter at the beginning of the new year. We can do better. Later in this series, we'll look at ways to recognize, honor, and celebrate people's generosity. Only after reflecting on our teaching and thanking will we turn to the question of running an annual campaign. And that's because we want to teach and thank as often as we pass the plate. 